In this video, we will look at type inference, the var keyword, the final keyword, the const keyword, and the dynamic keyword in Dart, and see what's the difference between them. So let's start with the var keyword. So previously, when we declared variables, we would have said int age equals 10. Now with the var keyword, which basically stands for variable, and that's exactly what we did here, we declared a variable called age, and the type of that variable is an integer. And because of that, on the right hand side, I need to assign an integer. I cannot make that a string. Then it's going to give me an error. So if I change that back to 10, no problem at all. So we could also do the same thing. And instead of saying int there, I can just say var age equals 10, which means I'm declaring a variable called age. And now Dart will infer, and that's where the inference comes from. Dart will infer the data type, which means that because I'm assigning an integer on the right hand side, Dart automatically knows that the age variable here is now of type int. Now, if I go and I say age equals hello, you can see that Dart automatically picks up this is not an integer anymore. The value of type string can't be assigned to the variable type int. So where did it get the int? Because we are declaring something as a var, Dart automatically infers the type. For example, also, I could have said instead of var age equals 10, I could have said var name equals John. And because of type inference, this is allowed, but name will now be a string. And I cannot go later on and say name should be 10. So that is the var keyword. So basically, just a normal variable declaration where I do not need to specify the type, but Dart infers the type automatically. So it's quite useful. All right, let's look at the next one. All right, what is the final keyword? So for the final keyword, I could have declared something like this. Final name equals Peter. Now for the final keyword, as well as the const keyword, Dart can also infer your type, which means that I can declare final name equals Peter and Dart will automatically know that the name's type here should be a string. But if you want, you can also add your specific declaration to it so that Dart do not actually infer it, but you are specifying it. So that's also allowed, but it's not needed as Dart will automatically infer the type. So you can just say final name equals Peter. All right, so what does the final keyword do then? The final keyword basically makes the value that this variable contains final or read only. Now, what does this mean? So for the var, you've seen that we can change the value. I can go back and say, I want to change this one to Peter. And there's no problem at all. Right, but if I try and do the same thing here, we've got a problem there because of the name. Let's make this one surname. So we declared it twice. Okay, so let's use the surname there. Just run to make sure there's no errors. Okay, let's say the surname is Peters. Okay, sorry about that. So the name declared already, I cannot declare it again, the same variable. So I'm declaring surname as final. So with a var, you can see we assign it the name and we can change it later on. That's why we call it variable. Variable means it's changeable. Okay, so now if we go to the final surname there and I try to take that surname again and assign it to something else, let's say Johnson, you will see it's going to give me an error now and it says the final variable can only be set once. So that's what the final variable does. The final keyword basically defines a variable in such a way that you can only define it once. It's got one specific value and that value cannot change throughout your coding, which basically makes this read only or a final version of a variable. Right, so that is the keyword final. So let's look at const. So the const keyword is exactly the same as your final keyword because it also makes something Let's call this one uh, last name. It also makes something final, which means in this case, const last name is, let's say, Peters again. So in this case, I cannot go and say last name equals Johnson. 
So you can see it does exactly the same as your final keyword. So final and const is basically declaring that specific variable as final and read only, which means it cannot be changed later on in coding. So what is the difference now between final and const? The const keyword makes a variable a compile time constant, which is computed at compile time, not at runtime. So a runtime constant is a value that's computed only while the program is actually running. So if you run the program more than once, a compile time constant, like your const keyword is doing with a variable, will have the same value each time the application is run. Now, let's try the following. Let's say we had a method outside of this method, and we'll get to methods later on. So I'm going to call this one a get name, or let's call it get last name. And let's say this method actually goes onto the internet and goes to your database and it gets the last name of that person. So if I'm going to say get last name here, you will see Dart is now going to give me an error. Why? It says const variables must be initialized with a constant value, something that during compile time will stay the same. So because compile time, we won't know what is the last name because only when it runs the application, that last name will be will be retrieved from the server and saved into last name. And because of that, it will not allow this. A compile time constant means it needs to get the value before I run the application. So I can give him a last name, yes, Peters, and that's allowed because this name, Peters, will not be retrieved somewhere from a database while the application is running. So we're setting this value before the application is running. It already knows the value of that specific declaration or that specific variable. But the same is not true for final. I could go and do this again, get last name. And you can see it gives us an error with a const keyword. But if I use final, it's got no problem. So basically, final work can work during runtime, getting that value while the application is running, getting that value and setting it as a constant that cannot change after that line of coding. Whereas a constant, the const keyword, cannot do that. It must be set during compile time and not during runtime, which makes the const keyword a bit more efficient than your final keyword. Where do we use final? When do we use const and where do we use var or, in fact, just any string there? I could have said string name instead of var also. So it's up to you which one to use. Uh, let's just talk about them quickly. If you can, always start with const first and see if you cannot declare something as a const. The performance of const is better than the performance of final, which is better than the performance of variable or just normal var. So if you can, try and use const. If you cannot use const, try and use final. And if you cannot use final, then you'll go with var or then explicitly casting or using the declaration, the explicitly string name or int or whatever. So uh, remember, const is compile time constant, final is just a constant whether it's compile time or runtime and your variable then is also something that can change so const and final cannot change whereas variable can change so work backwards start with const first if you cannot use const use final if you cannot use final use var or the explicit declaration now let's look at the last one which is the dynamic keyword so what we had before is something like variable age equals 10. And if I try to do the following and I say age equals 10 like that, which is basically assigning a string value to it, you will see that Dart will give you an error. That's because Dart has got some strict rules on the types and how you use them. So in this case, if you declared something as an integer, and you try to change that value to another type later on, it's going to warn you and give you an error on that. But let's say you wanted to do that. Then you can declare something as dynamic. So let's say dynamic temperature equals 10. Now I want to go and say, well, the temp should be 10. So look at this. I'm declaring it and initializing it as a string. 
and then later on I'm changing that to another 10 but in this case it's an integer which means the type of that specific variable can change during coding and that we call a dynamic variable and what you're actually saying to Dart is do not correct me here I know what I'm doing I want to first have it as a string and then later on have it as an integer now this is very risky to use because you could have some a lot of errors later on if your types are not correct and you're trying to do something with it and the data type that's actually in it is not the one that you're using the method on so if you really know what you're doing you can use the dynamic keyword here so in some cases dynamic is the only one that you can use and let me just give you a quick example of this the javascript object notation could give you objects for example something like this Let's say you've got an object and it's got properties for a name, an age, and a city. But you're reading data from the same file, and that same file in JSON format can have actually different types of data in it. For example, uh, we could have this also. We could have one object that's got a name, an age, and a city, and another object's got a name, an age, a city, and a country, and maybe even a temperature with it. So then, because you're getting the data from online and you don't know whether it's going to be this object or that object, you can use the dynamic type to get back everything and then look at your data. So dynamic, not totally useless, but uh, there is some use cases where you actually need to use it and you cannot use something else. Right, so we talked about the var keyword, the final keyword, the const keyword, and the dynamic keyword. Hope you've learned something from this video. See you in the next one.